Hey, this is Natsura and this is the Tier 5 Japanese cruiser Furutaka. It has 6 main guns, 4 secondary guns, 6 torpedoes, 10 AA guns, a top speed of 34.9 knots, total health 30,700, and for modules I'm running with reduced crit chance on main battery, reduced flood and fire chance, for my commander I have situational awareness, faster flood, fire, and general repairs. For tier 2 I have aiming expertise, for faster turret rotation I have reduced fire chance, and for my tier 3 I have faster damage control. So we're on the map New Dawn, I spawned in and I always had to be. Doesn't matter if I'm a cruiser, I do the same as my destroyers. You have a lot of power, obviously. Now I can't be as stealthy. You can kind of see this ship from something like 11 kilometers away, something stupid. But, maintain power over the center. I see that a friendly carrier and an enemy carrier have bumped with their fighters and they're engaged, so I'm just trying to get in range of that. I see that there's an enemy Isokaze, and I'm just going to try and fire on him. The cruisers have a single fighter that they can send up, and the single fighter is great because what it can do is it can engage torpedo bombers or dive bombers and make them less accurate. And I see that this torpedo bomber is near me. I didn't expect him to drop. And by the time I'm able to maneuver, I get hit by one torpedo. Thankfully, it doesn't cause flooding, but it does 7,600 points of damage. Allies behind me also take that damage. We're still alive. Now, our friendly destroyer is trying to capture B, but he's being spotted. So any enemy that lands a shot on him will interrupt the cap. And I just want to be careful because I'm also spotted too. There's really nothing I can do to hide. I'm in the middle. The enemy has ships on both sides of me that could fire. And I'm trying to get damage on this enemy destroyer Anytime I get a chance to kill a destroyer, I want to go for it. And we set up, hopefully he holds true. No, he turns. But we land a shot, and we do a little bit of damage. So we have successfully captured B. Even though there's an enemy right above, you can see that my fighter is engaged with the enemy fighter. Oh, we shoot him down, actually. That's pretty cool. I believe he ran out of ammo. And that's why he has to return. Because normally he would stay up in a patrol pattern for up to five minutes. But he's coming right back to my ship. And I believe I'm not going to have access to him. Yep, I won't have access to him for three minutes. Now, I'm in the open. I'm getting fired on by this enemy battleship, this enemy cruiser. I want to be careful. I'm moving away. And I'm maintaining fire. He's got the zebra pattern or tiger so he has a lower accuracy when I try and fire on him 4% to be precise now have I really noticed it not really and we're just gonna try and keep him lit up we have 203 millimeter guns theoretically we could possibly penetrate the low armor of the early battleships, but I think the fire gives me a better chance of doing damage over time. Especially the longer range you are, the less chance for penetration with these small caliber guns. It's just barely over the 155 millimeter threshold for small versus large to war gaming. So we're just going to keep on doing a little bit of damage. Our Main fire is still up. The back fire that I believe someone else set him on did get put out. And we have B. The enemy has A. We might have C. We have a lot of friendlies by C. And I see that this Wyoming is going to enter to B. And I want to fire on him. So if you notice the enemy, he's pointed straight at us. He can't bring all his guns to bear on me. I don't think I'm the primary target. And sure enough, he's not firing on me. It looks like he's firing probably on a friendly cruiser by sea. But we're going to keep firing on him. And 
every shot we land, we're going to interrupt his ability to capture B. And we set him on fire with our first shot. That's nice. There's three more potential fire positions on every ship. So a total of four. And you know, four times the dot damage, that's pretty insane amount of damage that you can do, potentially. We're right, just trying to get a shot on him before B goes over. He has switched to us. And we're trying to maneuver for it. Ooh, we take pretty good damage. He takes out our propulsion, but we're able to use damage control to repair it. From the closed beta to the open beta, the ships slow down dramatically when a engine is critically damaged. But we're just going to keep on going. Unfortunately, he's captured B. There's no point in me trading damage with him. And another enemy appears to be firing on me. I caught sight of him for a split second. I fire where I think he is. And unfortunately, he's already in the other part of the map. We don't have a spot on him. That enemy destroyer gets some free damage. And at this point, I'm headed for my two carriers that seem to be on the southwest side of the map, basically where we spawned. The enemy has A and B, and they have what looks like six or seven ships headed towards this area of the map. And if we can keep up the friendly carriers as long as possible, it'll give us a chance to win. Because right now, it doesn't look like we have a chance. And I'm worried. Very worried based on the point totals. But, you know, I never give up. I feel like I'm always in the game as long as I can stay alive. And we land a pretty good shot on that enemy destroyer. We set him on fire. He's probably going to use damage control. It's on such a low cooldown for destroyers. And we're taking a lot of fire, but they're inaccurate fire, so it's not a big deal. And I want to get behind this island and use it as cover. And I see that the friendly is actually moving now. I was worried that he was AFK, crashed, botting, you know, whatever, I didn't know. I was just frustrated that we were going to die and there was just going to be an AFK guy. But it looks like he's moving. Hopefully he can send out some support aircraft to maybe take down one enemy ship. And still taking fire, but they're missing, thankfully. And I really care about that destroyer. I don't really care about them right now. I want to stay out of their range. But we're okay right now. Oh, another enemy to complicate matters. I think we got the entire enemy team on this western flank, except for a carrier and two enemy ships. So we got a lot to deal with. We can't fight them straight up. We have to give ground. I see that this friendly carrier is leaving the safety of the island. Probably wouldn't recommend that. He's also moving pretty slow. I think he's using the automatic waypoint system. Tip for anyone who uses it, it will default you to half speed a lot of times on your carrier. You need to make sure you're going full speed in a situation where you're trying to run for your life. <laughs> and my whole goal is to try and kill this enemy destroyer before he kills my carrier. And he sends out his torpedoes. We get a good shot. He's popping his smoke. And he's moving away. But I feel like he's holding steady. And we try and fire where we think he's going. And we miss. And from my point of view, this carrier is dead. Deader than dead. <laughs> he's going to take four torpedoes. And there you go. There goes the ally carrier. And I can't afford to stay. I can't. I have to leave the area. I can't try and save everyone. I've basically given up on my other carrier in order to save my life and to give my team a chance to win. And I still want to kill this enemy destroyer. He's a huge threat. And cruisers counter destroyers pretty hardcore. And we send out a shot where we think he's going. And we land our shot where we thought he went. <laughs> so, we're able to 
somewhat bring it. Not quite what I'd like. We lost two carriers for their destroyer. I've got these battleships hounding me, this enemy cruiser on my butt. And I just need to keep moving away. I see that the enemy carrier and their torpedo planes are headed straight for me. I have my fighters up. Hopefully he can engage and slow him down, but I don't think he's engaging fast enough. The torpedo bombers are getting really close and I feel them dropping. And I'm using the edge of the map. This is slightly scumbaggy. <laughs> the edge of the map will abruptly slow you down and I abruptly slow down so the torpedoes will hopefully come on. Yes, okay, we've cleared all the torpedoes. Nothing makes contact. And we're just gonna turn and head on, continue to get distance on all the enemy. I'm trying to pull them into my friendlies. It looks like they've killed off those two ships by sea and hopefully they'll help me kill off these ships over here. I just look back, I see the cruiser's help. I land a shot on the South Carolina, set him on fire. He has used damage control. Now, battleships have an immunity of something like 10 to 15 seconds from damage control. So they will not take flood or fire during that immunity. So you need to kind of wait it out. But you can set them back on fire, and that's my goal. And I'm just trying to keep a hard shot for this Phoenix who keeps shooting at me. I believe he's using AP. Yes, we set him on fire. The South Carolina will have to burn for as long as he doesn't have any ship survivability that reduces the extinguish time. So something like 45 seconds, maybe? That's a lot of damage. Oh, we set him on fire again. Two fires! This is going to be a lot of damage. And I feel confident that I can engage this Phoenix now. I have enough friendlies that are taking the attention of the other ships. And we're gonna just fire on the Phoenix. We critically damage his torpedo too. Who really cares at this range? He's not gonna use them. But we did do almost 3k damage. And we just keep on firing. Gotta have good aim. Nice, we set him on fire. That's extra damage that we can have that the enemy cannot get back, especially a cruiser. Early tier cruisers don't have any way to heal that damage. Oh, and he has used damage control, so we know he is susceptible to flooding and fires. And we do a little bit more points of damage. He misses. We are kind of parallel to each other right now, so it should be an easy shot for him and an easy shot for me. So I try and compensate and make it a little bit harder. And we set him on fire. Now, he's going to die to the fire. But if I can get a cooldown on my guns back up, I will probably fire just to make sure. And we know he's dead. There's no question he's dead. And he dies to my gun. Nice. Okay, so we have destroyed the cruiser. Looks like the allies have destroyed one of the two battleships. And we're in a situation where we're kind of bringing it back. The ally destroyer in the point at A has captured it. We're only 150 points down. Ooh, and we set them on fire too. That is one thing that is nice about larger caliber. They have a higher percentage chance to set the target on fire. Even all the way up to the big battleship boars. They got something like 10, 20, 35 percent for some of them. So it doesn't mean you're a bad player to use HE even at those. You just need to understand the enemy's positioning. If they're angled, it's a very hard shot for AP and you might consider using HE. But don't ever throw away a gun rotation. You need to have Every chance to do damage used. And once you use it, then you can swap to the enemy. And we burn them down. Nice. Two enemy ships left. Those two battleships. We are still almost 100 points down. I feel like 
He's probably going to kill that friendly South Carolina, but I'm going to do my damnedest to get damage on the target. And we're aiming just a little bit high. The Mayoki doesn't really have a lot of things Fighter above water. It's very flat. It's very weird. And we got all these nice islands that we can use to hide in if they decide to change targets. Not that they will, but we're always planning ahead. And the friendly destroyer is capturing B, so they won't have any tick rate. The only ticks that they will have is if they kill a ship or try and capture C. They're just too slow to get A, and 50-50 on if they get back at B. They're all on this South Carolina. And <laughs> I waste a cooldown into the side of the island. I was trying to get shot out. I figured my camera can see. Why can't I, right? But we're just trying to help the South Carolina. He's real slow. Looks like he's firing a G at the target. Probably would have more effect with AP at that distance. We also set him on fire. That is the one positive. It looks like he has three fires going. So he's going to burn for a lot of damage. And just trying to use every cooldown. I'm very aware of where the enemy is. Now that, that shot, I tried to aim at the very front tip. To, you can see that the front and the back are not on fire. There's two fire points that can add to the dot damage. And a little bit of lag there. Ooh, we earned Confederate. That's nice. Now, the other battleship cannot fire on me. It's only this Mayoki that can fire. There's an island in the way, and he chooses to fire on the Minekaze, and I, I hope he survives. I don't want him to die. We're bringing this back. We're behind, but we're within 100 points now. Every time I land a shot on this guy, it slows down his capture of C. And it also gives us a chance to make up some ground in the tick rate. We're still 70 points behind. If the game ended right now, we would lose. And unfortunately, the other enemy battleship has line of sight on me. And I see that. And he fires. Uh, angle, move. Turn, turn. Oh. That was close. 12 guns, all firing at the same time on you. And he's firing on me. I guess the friendly destroyer is not in view. And I see, no, that Wyoming, he's looking right at me. I don't really like that picture. Just trying to sail away, avoid damage. We are within 20 points now. And I'm telling my destroyer buddy, just live. And we take, it looked like we just took HE at close range. He didn't actually land a shot, but propulsion is too important. Have to use damage control. Now there's 45 seconds left on the clock. We are up by just a smidge. If either me or the destroyer die, it is over. We lose. There's not enough time. And we just keep doing a little bit of damage. And this is a mistake. Oh. We take a lot of damage. We get set on fire and our propulsion's out. We have limited speed and maneuverability. We have to really be defensive. Just need to look, see if he fires. And he's firing. Just trying to avoid this shot. Hopefully it doesn't kill. Oh, he only lands one. We survive, and the game ends. We've come back. We were down like 500 points at one point. But we were able to survive and help our team win that game. We earned Confederate. Only three kills, but most of this game was survival. The Destroyer played a great game. He destroyed the enemy by A, captured A, captured B, and he came back, and he survived. Along with me, we were able to help our team win. It was a great comeback, considering we were down 500 points. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this comeback. I certainly enjoyed being a part of it. I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you guys next time.